Welcome to the world unite. My dear friend Klesma da Costa and it gives me it's such a blessing to introduce her today who she will be speaking on spirituality through the expressive arts. Klesma as I know her is an evolving soul open to experiences helping her become her highest self. and the experience of divine love is her catalyst to becoming she holds a masters degree in child psychology and child development from parvati bai chogle college of arts and science uh, and she is also a certified dance movement therapeutic practitioner from tara institute of social sciences in mumbai the founder of klesma's fitness squad she advocates holistic fitness fitness of the body and the mind here in goa india with dance heals She works with different populations using dance or movement therapy as a tool to promote emotional, cognitive, physical, and social integration of the individual for the purpose of improving health and well-being. Her interests and hobbies are definitely dance, movement, expressive arts, singing, acting, miming, adventure, travel, and her life motto is to live, love, and inspire. We are waiting to hear you, Klesma. Over to you. thank you so much denise i feel a lot of love in this space and very overwhelmed uh, with this feeling of having all this lovely people with me and i uh, want to acknowledge each of you and show my gratitude before i start so as denise shared i am going to speak about uh, my personal journey of spirituality and what it means uh, to me and how uh, the practice of expressive arts have has helped me to recognize that i am not just the labels that i carry as a teacher a dancer but more so i am a soul and i recognize that i am a loving soul and all the loving souls around me so um, to start with uh, it all started uh, behind locked doors where i used to move fiercely you know feeling this sense of uh, you know a drive which used to lead me so there was a time when i was 17 um uh, i was clinically uh, you know depressed and i realized there were so many thoughts in my head which were conditioning of you know self esteem issues um this feeling of constantly being told who i have to be how i have to be what what is the right behavior the wrong behavior and for the longest uh, time in my life uh, when i was growing up i kind of did all, everything to fit that that mold and it was so uh, demanding and stressful that i was constantly in this space of controlling you know controlling everything around me and when i was 17 i realized that there was something wrong with me and i used to start crying and this feeling of not wanting to do anything and today when i look back at that experience i realize it was my soul trying to uh, tell me klesma wake up you know uh, this is not your reality that is something more than just being things that the world wants you to be but there is something that you have to offer and that is the time i think it's only when i moved all these thoughts disappeared and movement uh, told me there was something more than just the belief systems and the ideas i had about myself and that was the first time i realized that i was something more than just these labels i was a soul and there was something very divine in that experience that is a time that i felt completely whole and enough and complete and um, that journey continued you know that journey after that um, experience uh, the approach to i had towards life changed as i shared in the last uh, sharing that it was that experience that you know uh, i don't have to constantly being doing things to impress but do things because i believe in a purpose and i want to give and that journey continued and over the uh, different experiences i had or i can call it like an awakening or breaking myself up to the reality of what it, it truly is um it was art that helped me and just to kind of give an understanding to what i am trying to share i will i'm going to share a small piece that i did work on 
please let me know if you can see it on the screen. Can you see it? Yes, we can. Okay. So uh, this is, I'm not a trained, uh, trained painter, okay? I am, I, this is an abstract art which came from a space of healing and how arts has helped me in healing. And this was the, the background of this painting was painted when uh, I was in a very bad mind state. Um, and if you see these lines, the blue and the green line, these are my thoughts, the negative thoughts and the, uh, the beliefs I have about me or the beliefs I have about the world and how things are so unfair and everything. And then if you see these flowers, they came uh, much later in, when I was in a, in a space of meditation. So the first layer was just putting out all that in art. And the second uh, layer, which is the flowers, was the remembrance that I'm a soul. And this, this experience is just helping me to become better so that I can serve better and I can remember who I am. And this is uh, my source, um, that's my soul. You know, this, this, the bits are my soul or the, the guidance from God telling me that this is what you have to do. So uh, this is one of the artwork which I have done. And similarly, art uh, is used, like I use art as a way of uh, experiencing things beyond me. And uh, when I go to a space, which is uh, a teaching space, teaching dance, uh, that is the time I completely feel I'm in the moment, in the present and truly connected to God. Or I feel like a conduit and I believe that people receive that love. And when you show your authentic self through art, people also open up their authentic self to you. So uh, there is a few things which is a churning and uh, I just want to share those few things I wrote down. Please let me know Denise when my time's up so I don't exceed. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so when I was churning and I was meditating, I something I wrote. Pain is a portal of spiritual awakening and knowing oneself, that is the soul or the spirit consciousness. Um, and uh, I've learned that alongside a material world, there is a spiritual reality from which everything, all things, and begins, uh, which all things begin and originate. We refer to this as God or a sacred matrix of life. We work to perceive and align with this reality. All our diseases, such as depression, which was for me, only comes when we are separated from God or the spiritual reality. When we are in alignment, uh, we, are not, we are not going to suffer. That is when we are in the awareness of not the ego self, where all the pain comes from, but when alignment of flow and uh, allowing God to you know, guide you, you are not going to experience pain. Healing occurs both individually and globally. And that is the reason why I am here with, uh, why we all are here, I believe. When we reconnect with the matrix, healing and regeneration, growth, coordination, inspiration occurs by itself, guided by the universal consciousness. Uh, unlike the material world, the matrix or the God works very differently and his works are effortless unlike us where we want to control everything. So things are effortless and they're always flowing. In deep artistic work, uh, the experience is the fundamental principle of uh, being a spirit and uh, we are all called to celebrate and revive when we participate in any kind of expressive art. And it is a service to global healing. Every disease can be healed uh, once we remember who we are and we are in alignment uh, with the matrix or the universal life force. And last but not the least, um, we come together in movement, in arts, in any form that we want to practice. We come together to form communities of growth, which could eventually, uh, which is strengthened by trust and which will eventually lead to enlightenment. And uh, the last thing which I want to conclude with is spirituality, art and healing. 
Behind the visible world, there is a parallel world of undreamt possibilities, a reality largely unknown to us, from where growth, healing, and insight emerges. To become able to carry out successful global healing work, we are learning to cooperate with this universal power by discovering a creative process, the sacred life force through thinking, spiritual work, conscious work, through art, music, theater, and dance. And above all, through building trust among people, we learn to connect with the world, that we create with the world that has created us. So thank you very much. And I'm very grateful for this space and for all your presence. Thank you. Wow, Klesma, that was uh, such an amazing, insightful sharing, you know, wearing it out there, being so vulnerable, talking about uh, soul experiences and how art helped you. I've known you, I've seen you at the time when you were doing this painting and how it helped you connect to a higher source really lovely and really lovely how it is um, how your spiritual experience is coming through art that's really beautiful thank you so much once again for being a part of this platform as a token of gratitude uh, we would like to present you with a certificate um, yes here's a certificate by the we are one summit goa thank you the signed by dr yes. yogandar and grandmother paresha Thank, Thank you, Klesma, once again.